Welcome back to the Diecast Room. Today's video featuring Johnny Lightning. I have some really cool cars from Johnny Lightning and it has been a while since I've reviewed any Johnny Lightning stuff so quite excited to do this with you guys. Got a really cool Ghostbusters revised tooling to look at as well as a full six vehicle set of the Johnny Lightning 50 years barn find. Some really cool rusted up banged up old muscle cars. Everything's coming out of the package for a full loose review, of course. I've also got the last, uh, I think, of the Two Waves Demolition Derby series vehicles. Really cool vehicles there. I love the Demolition Derby stuff. A couple oddballs, including a project in progress, some cars and coffee, and may have an exclusive or two to show at the end of this video. Let's get right into the review, starting with the barn finds. There's a version A and version B that Johnny Lightning released of these castings. I believe it was around late 2019. They've all got a few muscle facts about the car specifically, specifications, the paint job that it would have been. This one's quite dusty. And on the back, you've got uh, the cars that are in that series to collect. Oh wait, that's Cars and Coffee. There's Barn Finds. So there's kind of a smattering of information on the back of the Johnny Lightning cars and cardboard. We're not going to look at all of that too closely. In fact, we're going to get this stuff cracked out of the package right now for a nice, loose review. Heavy pieces. And there's the first one coming out. Check it out. 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Dusted up barn find. Very dusty version of this car. I'm going to zoom in slightly, get the textures caught perfectly on the film. As you can see, all metal, some big uh, racing tires, kind of Hot Wheel-esque as far as the uh, style of Johnny Lightning cars goes. They're kind of uh, not perfectly to scale, but they uh, have their own flavor as far as hot rods go. And here, of course, is the second version. This would be the B version, and uh, it is in a lemon twist. Very cool. And I like the way that Johnny Lightning dusted the windows this time. A previous release of Barn Finds had the windows left clear and shiny, which looked kind of funny because why would someone go and polish all the windows but not the rest of the car if it was truly a barn find? This one's got a steel wheelie on the back. And uh, mismatched rims, let's call it. Very cool. Okay, I would open the hoods on these cars, but it can be a bit of a chore, and I don't want to slow the video down too much. But really nice rolling cars Johnny Lightnings make. Next one, we've got two versions of the 57 Chevrolet Corvette. I guess I should note these are uh, limited to 4,000 pieces in these paint configurations. And this one is uh, Inca Silver, would have been the original color on this car. Again, featuring mismatched rims. We've got the mag wheel on the front and the steel wheel on the back. No opening hood on this car or trunk, so no opening parts on this one. It appears to be missing the front bumper as a barn find. Maybe not, I'm not quite sure. I would expect it would have a bit more a bumper, but I may be wrong on that. The next version out is a quite a nice one. It's the red and white. Venetian red, they say, specifically. This one's got a little bit more shine on the trunk, but it's still quite a dusty version. All steel wheels on this one, really like that. That one would seem all original if you were to find that in the garage. Now, the two favorites of my... Uh, of mine in this six vehicle set are for sure the two color variations of the 69 Dodge Charger Daytona in bright red. It's not so bright anymore as you can see but the rusting and weathering on this car in particular looks really cool. This one we're actually going to get the hood open fairly easily on camera but let's just take a look at the weathering on the roof all the way around. Oh, we almost had it. There we go. There's an engine in there. Nicely detailed. And this one actually had flames. Maybe like also ghost flame style on the front fenders. At one point. Both front fenders. Really cool. Just barely visible. You really have to look at it. 
to see that. And we're going to see if the blue version, this one's the bright blue poly, if it has flames on it. Hmm, so rusty on this side, it's hard to tell. Let's check that out a little closer. Well, we know the engine is in there, so we'll just leave it at that. Mismatched wheels once again. Does not appear to have flames on this one. Just some very rusty fenders. This one, I would have to say, is probably my favorite out of the bunch. The red and the blue one. And then secondly, this red Corvette is really nice. Really like those cars. They look great. They're going to go straight to my junkyard diorama. Next up, as we clear the table here of rubbish. Boom. Let's take a look at the Demolition Derby cars. Now, the most recent versions of these cars, I believe, were the Monte Carlo stock cars. I've got, again, two variations here, the green and black and the pink and gray, version A and version B. And from a while back, I think these were summer 2019, just took me a while to get my hands on them, 72 Chevy Vega wagon in uh, cranberry red and gold stripe metallic. So check out these first newer versions uh, before we get to those Vago wagons. So we got a little difference in the card art here versus the uh, rusty cars, but the back again, collect all six. These are different sets, of course. It's almost like advertising on the back. And uh, you got the freak facts here. A few interesting tidbits about the car. Limited to 3,500 pieces. It's not going to be a clean break. There you go. So you got this little piece of uh, cardboard that you can remember. Uh, pretty much nothing. Because you have the awesome car loose, so you don't really need that. Pretty cool. Rubber tires all muddy. Headlights and grill have been blacked out. Windows have been removed. Coming at you, it says. The Doomed. Let's see if we can get that hood open. Not easily. Very cool. I do have my tool here, so maybe we'll just give it one last little try here. Just don't want to chip the paint. I feel that that's what's going to happen, so it's not happening. It is not happening. Let's get that green one out now. No better situation here as far as the open goes. This does not want to come out easily, so that's all right. It's all headed to the recycling anyways. Also a doomed version with coming at you, just the different color. Consistently muddy wheels. And there you have it, pink and green versions. Smash! Let's see what we've got in store for these ones out of the package. Freak facts, what have they got here? Variations of the Chevy Vega wagon, had metal panels in place of the side rear glass. It was called the Panel Express, you don't say. Okay, it's a cool little car. Got some uh, comments on the side of it. What happens in Vega stays in Vega. That's kind of funny. Vegas baby. Hit it big in Vegas. So we've clearly got a Las Vegas theme going on with this car. Just about dropped it. And now the second color variation of it. I like this one. This is my favorite of these two, I would say. Very cool. Same paint information, of course, on them. So where are we at right now? We've got a whole bunch of cars coming out of the package. Derby cars, junker cars. Let's go for the Project in Progress. This is an older version again. I think this was summer 2019 at the latest. Uh, so we won't look at it too, too closely. Just a random car I needed to open up for my display wall. Stuff hiding out here all over the place. This one does not appear to have any opening parts. 
the 82 Ford Mustang. This one's missing lots of parts that were replaced by the owner. Looks like primer all over the door and hood. Got a bit of work left to do. This one has the plastic Comold style wheels. Chrome plastic with a black plastic tire. I prefer the rubber tires a lot more. These ones just have a bit of a tinny sound to them versus the more heavier sound of the rubber ones. A little more authentic sounding. And as we continue along, this is a nice little piece I just picked up. Still quite new. Ghostbusters Revised Tooling, it's called. Some ghostly facts. You can read on that. So this is the car as the uh, as the Ghostbuster Heroes acquired it initially. This is what it looked like before they painted it in its distinctive white paint job. There was some information on the back, I guess. We could let you pause on that if you want to read it. But out comes the car. Very much looks like a barn find at this point. Big old hearse. Primer gray all over it. Huge rooftop siren. And missing a hubcap. A little bit of rusted wheel going on there. So quite a nice heavy piece. Now clearly the scale is a little off. This car doesn't quite look right. As far as its dimensions that you would expect. It should be quite a bit wider I would think. But then again I'm not sure. And the tires are quite thick. Quite wide tires for this car. But again, that's the Johnny Lightning styling. Very similar to uh, the Hot Wheels styling. They're both companies that are 40 to 50 years old plus. So that's kind of where they get their roots. Quite a different style of collecting versus the uh, Johnny, or not Johnny Lightning, Auto World and Green Light, that sort of thing. We've already looked at this car. I have a duplicate. Don't know why I grabbed it. This is the one vehicle that uh, I'm going to leave in the package for now. I really like the presentation of the Union Gas 76. So we've got a 70 Chevy Camaro, Z28, and the ever popular 65 Chevy tow truck. Quite a nice piece. Got a lot of these vehicles kind of hanging around. Some interesting uh, tidbit facts on the gasoline, the number 76 gasoline station, if you care to read about that. And on the back, again, more advertising. Nothing really specific to this set. I'm going to leave that one just in the background for now. Um, finally, Cars and Coffee. These have been out for a couple releases, I believe. And I'm kind of late to the party on collecting them. I don't really collect a lot of Johnny Lightning. But this one really caught my eye. I really like the look of that one. Yeah, Sunoco Blue and Yellow 62 Chevy Corvair. The artwork is very nice. I like that it's cardboard with just the simple blister pack on it. Like a lot of Johnny Lightning stuff. Makes it easier to open it up and get the car out quickly for you on camera. So that one's a really nice piece. Just really like the combination of colors on this this Corvair. An interesting car to begin with. I mean, it looks terrific. I don't think we've got any opening parts on this one. Nope. And then two color variations of the uh, 63 Ford Galaxy 500. One is blue, one is black. Let's take a look at that blue one first. Very heavy model. Nice dimensions on this one. Opening hood. Nice detailed engine under the hood. Well detailed chassis. That is a nice piece. And the final car out of the package. Oh, it's a gloss black. I was going to say satin black, but looks like it needs a little bit of a little bit of a spit polish. Well, it looks a bit better. I'll take it off camera, give its final polishing as often I find these diecast cars need, especially the black ones straight out of the packaging. Nice red interior and the blacked out rims, of course. So there you go. We've got all of the Johnny Lightning I'm opening up today out for your review. Really nice selection of uh, beat up cars and shiny cars, demolition derby cars. And uh, a lot of these cars are going to go straight to my diorama, so I'll just take you over there now. So here we are in the junkyard. Looks like I've got lots of room to park some more wrecks in this corner of the yard. Got a few dusty old monster trucks that have since retired their services. And over here are some barn finds from Johnny Lightning a while back. You can see what I mean about some of those cars having shiny windows, though. 
and it just doesn't quite look right but uh, easily fixed with some fogging spray paint if you wanted to do that and I've got some other Johnny Lightnings over here there's a really nice Toyota Land Cruiser all dusted up and behind that one Ace Ventura's Monte Carlo from Greenlight let's get the rest of these cars parked in here all right, where are we going to put all these cars? How about this big old junker? Let's park that one in the back. Maybe right around there. Another Daytona Coupe. Daytona. A Daytona. I'll park that over there. Red Corvette. Right in the center. Another gray Corvette. We'll put the steely wheel out. And a Cuda. Well, I moved the beetle over behind this tree because its scale is just a little too off for my liking. It's more like 1 55th scale, I would say. And I've sneaked a few of the other cars kind of repositioned spots so they all look good together. That's one of the struggles with Johnny Lightning when you're trying to display them in a diorama situation. Unless you're not super finicky on 164 scale, as I typically am. But these still look terrific in the junkyard, as you can see. Not a better fit. Let's go over to the remaining of the vehicles. We'll get them back onto that 50 car Hot Wheels display case. One final close up look at these beautiful models before I get them up on the shelf. Pretty sure they're all going to fit, but just barely. Then I'll be emptying this shelf out shortly to make way for new reviews of new items as they come out on the review table here. All right, let's see if we can't get a couple of Johnny Lightnings in there behind the monster truck. And for the remainder, they're going to have to go way up here on the top shelf. I actually end up opening both of these green ones. I had two of them for some reason. Oh, I think we'll just be able to get them in here. Short one car, perhaps. Where's that little Mustang going to go? Well, maybe we can sneak it in front of that big old Ford pickup truck. There you go. The display is filled. Let's take one final look at the display because chances are it's going to look a little different next time you see it. I had the old Excalibur Greenlight Monster Truck from Kings of Crunch 5 just kind of sitting on some of my more junked vintage Hot Wheels. And the remainder of the cars... If there's any of these cars here that you're wondering about, check back on my most, more recent videos at the time of filming, late January 2020, and you'll see these cars in review. Everything from the Hot Wheels, car culture, latest stuff, to Auto World, Green Light, and now Johnny Lightning. Happy hunting.